hello and uh, welcome everyone let's talk uh, more about this object uh, how the this context gets initialized and what will be the value of this at which particular place okay so i will be showing some code snippet which will make you more clear on to the understanding that how this is working why this is working and why particularly this is working at this particular place because a uh, different place different locations the behavior of this can be different right so let's talk about that one by one so here so let's consider this is a simple function right and we are calling that function correct so what we are saying is this equal equals to window triple equals to window right that should be true right because we are just calling the function so we are we are just calling the function and function will have access to the global scope and this actually represents the global scope okay so by default this refers to the global object which is a global in case of node js and window object in the browser okay in node js which is also server server side uh, runtime environment for javascript there this represents to the global object and here this represents to the window object that is true right that is the default nature but when a method is called as a property of an object we will be creating an object there will be a method as a property whenever we are calling that method on to that object property then this object will represent that object or when a function is called with the new operator new keyword then this refers to the newly created object of that function we call that as a constructor function right using that we create a object at that time this refers to the newly created object of a function okay so we have seen this is it's going to be true and here if we put this in the if block that's also fine this still it will be true right because this currently here is represented by global object which in case of browser is a window now if you put a use strict which is a part of uh, es5 it is to prevent the global scope inclusion into the local scope so in this case this object will be undefined and it will give you the false value because it is not accepting this particular block will not accept any global object or any global variable from outside this particular block we put this use strict while creating the modules we put this on the top of the file so some global variables do not collide with each other while you are running the multiple files in the same application okay so these basic examples are clear i think right now let's talk about the function inside the functions we will have a public properties and a public function now we will see when we are creating the object of the function then where this is pointing to here this is the example new person so we are actually creating the object of the person functions and we are creating a new object person so at this time person object will point to i mean this will point to the newly created person object and when you should do person dot display name these two properties first name and last name properties will give us that value first name is john and last name is reed right when you are creating another object so this when you are calling this method then this object is pointing to this newly created person to object and this dot first name will say paul and this dot last name will say adams okay this is the behavior of this object while creating the object of a function right so same thing uh, here this is the same uh, same uh, properties we are passing now let's consider i wanted to override the properties we have already talked about the call apply bind which are being used to override this feature override the this context so person dot display name person is a first object of which i created and this dot first name is pointing to the john and last name is pointing to reed but i wanted to override that and i wanted to pass another object some third party object or some external object here external object we can consider person too where first name is paul second name is adams so using call we can override the definition of this object and in this case this person objects this property 
will point to Paul and Adams instead of John and Reed. Right? This is just a basic example of call apply or bind. So uh, constructor function is clear. Like whenever we are creating object with a new keyword, it will this this context will point to the newly created object. That's clear. Now let's talk about another important thing is about objects, right? So when uh, in in the objects when you are uh, calling a method like foo is a property, right? Foo is a property in the object, and whenever you are doing user dot foo, in that case this object will point to this particular user object right so in this dot foo so this dot foo is a function you are calling that in the user foo and foo may be declared outside anywhere wherever you want here we are comparing this equal equal to window that is obviously false right this in this case is pointing to this user object correct so if you do the console dot log you will get this value now I created another function using user dot foo one. Foo one is another function, and then I'm explicitly calling foo one. I'm not calling the object property directly. So in this case, it will print as a true. This method is invoked as a simple function. So see the difference. User dot foo is totally different from first getting the function property and then calling it. In this case, the function one will have the global object available inside in this case this object will not be pointing to the user object and last one user dot foo one in this case this object is pointing to the user object so it will give you the false value but this is giving us the true value and this is the important one why it is giving right so whenever you are calling a function which is a property in an object in that case this will point to that object so when you do the console.log this here it will point to the user object which is having count foo and foo1 as a property okay this is all about uh, the context initialization i whenever we are creating the function object whenever we are create calling a function in an object then at that time where this context is pointing to okay thanks everybody